This July, the Stafford campus was packed with students who looked a little younger than the average HCC attendee. Dr. Felita Wiggins explains. Well, the Governor's Merit STEM program is a grant-funded program that was designed to excite and expose secondary students, especially rising 10th and 11th grade students, into the STEM field. Students went through a rigorous process uh, where they had to write an essay. Also, their grades in science and math were considered, along with a letter of recommendation from their counselor. Well, we have a lot of fun and exciting um, activities for the students, lab-based, mostly project-based lessons, as well as um, field trips, forensic science, 3D printing, mobile app photography, chemistry, robotics. And some of the field trips will be going to NASA, to their robotics lab, as well as National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration research uh, with Texas A&M. Um, down in Galveston and the sea turtles that they'll get to visit and Methodist Research Institute. Those are just a few of the field trips that we'll go on. Camp instructors design their lessons to introduce students to a variety of STEM fields. The concepts and skills they learn here can be incorporated into their high school studies, refined for college, and eventually taken out into the workforce. Actually, the subject that I'm teaching is an introduction to the engineering design process. And with this process, we teach the students to ask questions, to imagine, uh, plan, create, and then improve upon what you've done. And then no matter what field you're in, these same steps can help you to succeed. So whether you're in a STEM field or an accounting field, again, always have your plan ask possible questions, what can you do to improve, and always test it out. Today we did actually the analysis of data that might have been at a crime scene, where they look at fingerprint analysis, they look at blood analysis, and at the end the DNA analysis to see how that could be used scientifically, which we use it in other areas as well, to, to be forensically useful in determining who might be the subject of a, of a crime or perpetrator. So that these can be used as tools to be used in forensics, they're also used for surgery and medical research as well as it goes along, and actually application, the physician uses it every day. The students know they're learning, but just as important, they're having a lot of fun. So far in the program there's been a lot of chemistry. Um, it's not my favorite thing, but it's really cool, like the, the experiments that we've been doing. Uh, I saw further on in the calendar that there's going to be a lot more engineering stuff, so I'm excited for that. We did a lot of hands-on activities, and I work better hands-on, or I'm a visual learner, so it taught me a lot because I plan on going into the engineering field. We worked with chemistry and crime scenes. We actually dissected a pig for forensic science, and we had to find out what killed the pig. And our group, we found a bullet wound that went through his hip that killed the pig. And that was really fun. It was really exciting. Their enthusiasm is contagious. I am having a ball. I'm loving it because the kids are coming, and you can see them analyzing what are we going to do. They are gravitating toward people and creating their own groups. But you get to see them understand that life is not always going to be perfect on the first run. So what do we have to do? We have to get back in there, start over, go through our steps again, and have fun while we're doing it. For more information about upcoming STEM events throughout Houston Community College, visit www.hccs.edu. For Stafford Magazine, I'm Stacy Hawkins.